you our chambers 15 minutes 37 seconds of MMA experience and I've watched every minute and 25 seconds of fucking interviewing with KO Media that's all you've done <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> anyway so Aaron, lovely to meet you man nice to meet you so come on what did it really feel like you're, you're up at a table full of MMA legends and there's Aaron at the end and you know what you deserve your place there do you know what it is I, like I am a fighter I'm a professional fighter and people always say oh he's a jolly short no I'm not how many fighters do you know that I've had five pro fights in fucking sellout arenas. Every fight's been a sellout. Or every fight's been over 5,000 people. Do you know what I mean? And people to say that I'm not a fighter. I'm, I'm one of my six pro fighters. If I wasn't a fighter, why would I get up every day, go to the gym and get punched in the face? Your patience is converted, man. Do you know what I mean? But I feel I'm slowly starting to turn these round. I'm a pro fighter and I'm, and I'm going to be in the game for a good four or five years to come. So people best get used to it. Absolutely. Um, and yeah, I'm... I'm and like everyone, it's funny because people are always like, he's not a real fighter. What's a real fighter? If you get in the, tell them to step in there. Exactly. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Giving, giving your views from your armchair, and you've never stepped in the gym in your life. Mm-hmm. Get in there. Get in the gym. Fucking three times, three times a day, t- twice a day, seven days a week, and tell me if you're a fighter. Then do you know what I mean? Because the, the, the fight game is for a small minority of people, and I'm one of them. You are. Do you know what I mean? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you are. I find out, I always said it, the very, very first fight, you appeared at there, the guys were, I forget even the guy you're fighting now, but you, like, you, you're, you're a former colleague. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, right We're down one side of the arena, your opponent was there giving him this and giving him that. Yes, that's correct. And you just walked down, focused. Yeah. Do you, you don't know high fives now. I heard you say later in interviews because you were petrified. But, I, I mean, but still, I mean, I was impressed. You know. Do you know? In other words, you weren't there. It wasn't, I, you weren't having a laugh at all. Well, well you know, is I, I could have chose. I, I was I was living a good life. Mm. I was traveling the world with Jody Shaw, drinking, getting paid to party, and I chose to come away from that to pursue a career that I was passionate about. Mm. I could have chose any career. I could have took. I could have chose fucking ten different paths mm. with good money, and would that would have been easier than MMA. But that wouldn't have fulfilled fulfilled me as a person. Mm-hmm. Mate, I, I'm not I'm not happy until I do something that I want to do. And I said I want, I'm going to have a good career in MMA, and that's what I'm doing. And, that's, and it's making me happy. Have yeah. you changed since the last fight, particularly? Oh, fucking leaps and bounds. Like it's the last fight was in my eyes was absolutely disgusting. It was it, I, because you had it basically. Not even that. I, I think the performance was awful. Yeah. Because I, 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 the anxiety was that bad on the week. It was it was it was my only fight where I haven't spoke to my therapist. The only build up where I didn't speak to her once. And my anxiety, through, I put so much pressure on me worst critic, and I put so much pressure on myself that I just I, I beat myself up before I even got it. I was walking down the path around thinking he's going to beat us. Whereas no, I never normally I think I'm going to fucking I'm going to kill you. Not so much kill you, but. You're gonna to have to fucking kill me before you beat it to beat us. And it, 100% is a mind game, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's, 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 you know. Where, whereas this week I'm so relaxed and my mind, my mind yeah. is literally bulletproof. And I, I'm, I'm, I have to ask you about this, right? Um, you know, I put up a post, and, and I put up a post in KO, like I always say, well, I'm, I'm gonna look for a picture of the fighter. Yeah. And I thought the story of the last fight was how hard you took it. Like, it re- like if you didn't give a fuck, you would have been laughing. No. No, I was, uh, fucking, like I was, I was you, you were in bits, man. Yeah, and you crying. said thanks for putting up that pick, and, and I was wondering, like, were you saying, yeah, you bastard, like, or were you saying thanks for reminding me? Because I know in your own Instagram, you shared video of the same period. Yeah. yeah. Like, w- have you used that to push you on for this yeah, fight? Yeah. Do you know it is? So, I, so after the fight, obviously, in the, you could see in the ring I was distraught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went backstage. I was crying. Then I went. I, I sorted myself out. I went to the. I went. We had like an after party, and all my family were there. And I went in. They turned the music off. And everyone started clapping. And yeah. I just barely started crying, and I was just like, I'm so sorry. Do you know what I mean? So I took it hard because I thought I'd let everyone down. Then I thought, Do you know what it is? They, they were there to support us, win or lose. So I took, I took, I took the positives from it. Mm. For right, I'm still, I'm still alive. I'm still breathing. Yeah. I'm not fucking still injured. Still collecting the checks. Yeah. I'm still collecting money, and I'm not injured. Yeah. So I went back to the drawing board, yeah. and I, I fucking worked my ass off. I worked my ass off to fucking prove everyone wrong. And Saturday night, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And, and you changed gyms, you say? Yeah, I, you know, I was, I was, tra- I was traveling so much, mm. 25 hours a week, 
Do you know what I mean? Cause me, yeah, man. and then we, so we, in the meantime, from the last fight, the week after, me and my missus and her yeah. daughter and the dogs all moved to Newcastle. Yeah. So I thought, you know, is there's nothing better than home life, home cooking, mm-hmm. home bed. I moved home. I, I, I went my SP, SPG South Shields, Alex Enlund, fucking unbelievable coach. Watched oh, Alex! Oh, come on. Watched over us. He's the real deal. He is the real deal, and he's making me the real deal. So Saturday night, he he said, I can't believe how much I've, how much I've improved. And we've only been with him nine weeks, nine weeks in. We've had nine weeks in. I, I, I feel a fucking new man. So what's what's the next two, three, four years yeah, holding that? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's really good. Like your ambition goes well beyond this fight. Yeah, yeah. Everything. I, I, I'm looking to have fucking 20, 25 fights in MMA. Oh, holy fuck. Ah, no. When I put me mic, you might hit the half hour yet. When I put me mic, so I when I put me mic, so something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm looking. To, I'm looking. To, I'll be on four fights this year. I want four next year. And I'm just gonna keep going. Long, as long as I'm fit, I'm gonna fucking fight. We have to see in Dublin, man. Come on. Dublin. Oh, would be you amazing. were mentioned on the MMA, or so you were. Dublin. Uh, our, Dublin would be amazing. Um, I don't think I'm on the Dublin court next. Uh, no, I, I, no, 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 no. I, I, I don't I'm, think I'm on, I think I'm on. I'm, I'm on. Uh, I can't say it. Too. I think I'm on. No, no, don't, don't say it. Too. Yeah, I'm on no, the no, court no, no, after. But, but it will happen at some point. It will happen next year. I'll make sure of it. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. Make sure of it. But as for now, me and Pro get Saturday night. Fucking get in there. Do what I know I can do. Win the next two fights. I want. To, I want. I want to win the fights in in, in good fashion. Mm-hmm. Because I want to. Like, I want a big contract. Mm-hmm. And I want to show everyone why Bellator putting putting money into it. Can I tell you the very first time I met you, by the way, was in uh, in a nightclub. I. We taking pictures in Dublin. Taking pictures. And, and you know, I said look, I wanted a portrait because you know, you might say, you know, I mean, we have to make a book. book am I setting up? Yeah. You weren't doing it, but like, for want of a better word, you're a bit of an asshole. A little bit, just a little. Did bit. I say no? A little bit, just a little oh, bit. Did I? Yeah. But you're you're a totally different person now. Do you know? You're, you're actually an advertisement for MMA. Do you know back then? Do you know when I was on the Jolly Show? My anxiety was so bad. Yeah. So I used to go to these events, clubs and stuff. Yeah. And until I was pissed. I was I was I was so miserable because my anxiety was through the roof. So until I started, this is this is my downfall. So I'll go to a club. I'll go to a club and I'll drink as much as I could mm. until I was pissed. Then I'll just do everything like a performing monkey. Do you know something, right? I don't drink, so I remember shit, right? Mm. I, I had to go in early in the night because I was going off to another gig, Aye. and it was at the start of the night. Yeah. Aye. yeah. That, that makes anyway, sense. this is one. You've loads of guys waiting there. It's a pleasure, you're a gentleman. Thank you very much. I hope to talk to you more again. Thank you very much. I hope mate. you get some really nice pictures, man. Yeah, you can. Uh, anyway, anything you want, we'll get. Okay. Me. Thanks, Aaron. Really Thank appreciate it.